These Virginia Tech basketball highlights are brought to you by TechHoops.com. On Saturday, the Hokies travel to Atlanta to take on the Yellow Jackets. Tech is 9-3 all-time since joining the ACC against the Yellow Jackets. Last year, it was Zoe with the game winner at the buzzer in overtime that sent the Hokies home happy with a one-point win. Rankin again started over Brown, who was still getting over the flu, and Reigns came off the bench. Yellow Jackets took an early 2-0 lead, but the Hokies had a quick answer. Eddie, who's been in a big slump with a nice runner there, ties it up a little over a minute into the game. Then Van Zagren backs down inside. Gets absolutely mugged. No call. Puts it up and in, though. Hokies take a 4-3 lead. And Barksdale with a nice pull-up jumper. Good to see him hitting some shots. Hokies again go up a... And then Rankin gets absolutely mauled. No call there. Yellow Jackets get a dunk out of that. Cuts the tech lead down to one. But Reigns with a nice left-handed hook in the paint there. Hokies go up three. And then the greatest free safety in basketball, Eric Green, gets the steal coast to coast. Puts Tech up by three again. They take a 10-7 lead. But Poole, the transfer from Kentucky, gets a three-point play there. And the Yellow Jackets tie it up. Green with a nice floater in the paint. But after that basket by Green, with 10.35 to go in the first half, Tech would not make a basket till 30 seconds to go. The way it went for a while was like this. Nice steal on defense, outlet pass to Green. Is it going to be a duck? Nope. It's a block for the Jackets and then a charge on Robert Brown. Luckily, the Hokies made eight free throws during this stretch, and the Yellow Jackets, who are the worst shooting team in the ACC from the field, and the three-point line, couldn't extend the lead much. Van Zagren with a nice block there. And then, late in the first half, Brown takes it two-on-one, off the green, gets the dunk. Hokies tie it up late in the first half on this dunk. One more time for good measure. Looked like it would be tied going into the break, but Carter Jr., 6 for 26 on the season from three-point range, banks one in. That's the way it went in the first half. Tech 0 for 7 from behind the arc. The Yellow Jackets, the worst three-point shooting team in the league, 4 of 11 at the break. Three-point lead for the Jackets. Then brrrah, Van Zagren gets the big dunk early in the second half on the nice pass from Robert Brown. Hokies within three at that point. Yellow Jackets, though, getting on the offensive glass. Miller with the tip in there. They go up seven. Then a three-point play there. Nine-point lead for the Jackets. Poole Jr. is pretty happy with himself. Barksdale, nice little feed inside from Reigns. Reigns with some great passes on the day. Then Brown, great pass there. Look at the way he found Reigns inside. Hokies get within seven. But then Tech not getting back in transition. An 11-point lead for the Jackets. Biggest lead of the game. Could have been a blowout. But the Hokies get the transition game going. Green says, I'm going coast to coast. Drives inside. Kisses it off the glass. Tech back within seven at that point. Then Brown gets absolutely swatted by Miller. He had four blocks. He can't jump over a phone book. But when you jump right into him, that's what happens. Nice tip in there by Reigns. It's a five-point game. Then a great pass from EG. Inside, Barksdale gets the turkey. Tech within four. Eudofia wide open. Even the worst three-point shooting team can hit that. Then Green, pull-up jumper. NBA-type move. Tech back within four. Hokies again trying to get out in transition. And again, it's Green. He drives inside. Little pull-up jumper. So sweet. Nothing but net. Tech within three, then another wide open three-pointer for the Jackets. They're up six. Green answers. Originally, they called this a two, but overturned it during the TV timeout. It's a three. Tech within three, but they would not score for five and a half minutes after that point. They're only six and a half minutes to go. Critical play here. They called a flagrant run foul on Eddie, even though he hit the ball, but they also called offensive basket interference. Georgia Tech would only get one point out of that. Reigns with one minute to go. Gets the Hokies back within two. Cuts it to 55-53. Critical possession here. Open jump shot for Carter Jr. there. Eddie with the rebound. And then Green gets fouled. A one and one down two. 24 seconds to go. Hits the first. Critical second free throw. Hits it. We're tied up at 55. Georgia Tech could hold it for one shot. Eudofia tries to get Green in the air. Doesn't commit the foul. Tough shot. Tech calls a timeout. Three seconds left. Green tries to heave this half quarter. It would not go. And for the second year in a row, the Techs go to overtime. Tied up at 55. It was all Hokies early in the overtime. Eddie to Reigns. Back to Barksdale. Nice little tough hook shot there. Hokies go up two early in overtime. 
Then a nice stop on defense. Reigns with the rebound. Brown this time finds Eddie wide open in the corner. Horrible shooting slump, but he drains that three-pointer. Hokies go up five. Georgia Tech with a tough three-point shot. Reigns again with the rebound. And then Eric Green, the NCAA leading scorer, puts in the shot there. He would have 28 on the day. Eudofia gets Tech back within five. And then a wide-open three-pointer here. Cuts the lead down the two. Starting to get a little scary. But Robert Brown, here's his first made field goal of the game. He was just one for ten at that point. Puts the Hokies up four. Another three-pointer for Georgia Tech. Eudofia hits it, cuts it to one, but Brown again. 0 for 10 in regulation, 2 for 2 in overtime. Puts the Hokies up 3. Then a 3-pointer here for Bolden. Can't get it to go. Maybe a foul inside. No call. Barksdale with the rebound. He had a double-double, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Eddie gets fouled. Hokies hit all four of their free throws down the stretch. And it would be Virginia Tech getting their first ACC victory of the season and James Johnson's first ever ACC win. Hokies shoot... Just 41% from the floor and just 3 of 16 from behind the arc. They got dominated on three-point shooting, but get the win. Rebounding a huge factor on that. Green with 28. Barksdale with that double-double. Brown with 10. And the Hokies have their first ACC win. We'll see you at the Castle next Saturday at 2 o'clock. Hurrah!